and Seneca and Clemson for providing our uh, lunch today. Kickoff Saturday night is 9.05 Eastern Time, 8.05 at Auburn. Uh, next Tuesday, uh, when we come to the uh, press conference, we'll uh, have the distribution of our season uh, passes for everybody's covering us on a season basis. And after Coach Sweeney's uh, press conference, we'll have players and coach venables available on the fourth floor starting around the Okay, thank you, Tim. All right, well, uh, we're excited to finally get game week here. Uh, you know, really not a whole lot. I don't think we can add uh, today uh, to what we haven't already talked about over the last month, uh, getting ready for uh, for this game. Uh, we're just, you know, ready to kick it off and uh, happy that it's finally game week. Uh, anxious to see our team play. Um, I think this is a team that's going to improve uh, throughout the year. I think we're going to just get better uh, as we go. Uh, and uh, But you got to start somewhere. And, uh, you know, I think we've had a good camp. I really do. I think our guys have, from day one, bought into the things that we've asked them uh, to do. Uh, the energy and the sense of urgency has been excellent. Uh, the leadership has been really, really good. Uh, but you can only get so much done in camp. Uh, at some point, you got to go play. Uh, we're fairly healthy, but uh, openers are always tough uh, for a lot of different reasons, and uh, especially when you're playing a, uh, a, a great opponent uh, like Auburn in a very tough and challenging environment uh, you know for your first game so um, but it's a big challenge uh, out of the gate for us uh, Auburn's uh, got four, 14 starters back in, in different roles uh, very talented team uh, you know a lot of talent, a lot of speed, athleticism, um, defensively, uh, very good up front. Uh, we recruited a lot of those guys that they've got uh, starting for them. They've got very good depth up front. I mean, they're two and three deep in certain spots in the defensive line. Um, they got three starters back in the secondary. Uh, got a transfer in at backer that, that uh, has played some football. Um, you know, so I think defensively, they're they're, they're going to be a big challenge for us. And then offensively, um, you know, what they do in, its, in, and, of, in and of itself is a big challenge uh, with the amount of formations and uh, the exotics that they kind of present you, uh, movements and shifts and quick huddles. And uh, you have to be very sound and very disciplined um, in, in preparing and being able to defend these guys and what they do. Uh, you know, they want to run the football. They don't make any any uh, bones about it. They're, they, I think they averaged about, I don't know, 49, 50 rushes a game and about 22 or 23 passes a game last year. So they, they hang their hat on running the ball. And uh, so the first thing you got to do there is you got to be able to, you know, line up again and handle all the shifts and motions and the personnel groupings that they're going to give you. You got to set the edge. Um, if, if they want to get outside. And then they want to, you know, pound you with all their gap scheme stuff. Uh, so you've got to contain the football. Uh, number one, I mean, that is a. Then you got to. Part of that is you got to win on the perimeter because they're a big, you know, screen team. And so you got to be able to defeat blocks and get off blocks and not give up, you know, chunk plays uh, with some of their, you know, passing game that's built into the run game. Uh, a big play action team uh, where they try to create a lot of chunks of yardage. Uh, so. Yeah, it's a it's a challenge for us. They, there's a lot of unknowns, new people. Uh, one thing I know they, they named 13 as their guy, and you know th this kid can really throw the football. Uh, I mean, he, you know, I, I, you watch the Arkansas game, just one that sticks out in my mind from last year. He made some not good throws. He made some great throws, uh, and he has a very good pocket presence. He doesn't get rattled. Uh, I thought their protection was was uh, was pretty good last year. Uh, just they just didn't quite execute or have the consistency that uh, they would have liked to have had. I think they had a lot of drop balls. Uh, but, but uh, you know, this guy is, was did some good things last year uh, from a coach's standpoint that I see on tape that I'm sure that's what they see. And uh, so he'll be better. Uh, and I'm sure the, the players around him uh, will be more confident as well. Um, but they, they played a lot of wildcat last year, uh, whether it be their back or maybe they bring in another quarterback. I 
don't know. Uh, so there's a lot of unknowns as you go into an opener, but that's the way it is every year. And, you know, that's that's why you have to really know what you do and really have ownership of your systems offensively and defensively so that you can make adjustments and uh, adapt uh, and apply your system to whatever you may see um, on game day, you know, when you really don't have tape. You know, you, we're watching a lot of LSU, uh, you know, and, and it's that's that's a you know the, the personnel's different uh, and you're not really sure because maybe 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 they're going to do what they did at LSU maybe they're going to do something different because the personnel's different who knows uh, so you, as a as a from a Clemson standpoint you got to be able to make the adjustments so that'll be a big part of the game but hey we're excited about it uh, their kicker and punters back both those guys are really good and uh, again you got to start somewhere for us uh, you know as I say every year our first goal is to win the opener and that's all we're trying to do uh, it's one of 12 uh, it's you know we're not going to win the national championship Saturday we're not going to lose the national championship Saturday you know what I want to see is see our football team um, you know where we are right now at this stage uh, as far as we you know could, can bring them as coaches uh, without playing games uh, let's go play the game see where we are and and, uh, and then we'll go from there but uh, we're really just uh, excited you know to make the trip and and uh, get this thing going. Coach, you ended with uh, Alabama, start with Auburn. Same thing happened in 2007, 2008, but in reverse. Uh, what's it like for you on a personal level um, going there with all the memories that you have at Jordan Hare, both as a, co as a player and a coach? Uh, well, you know, it's, it's fun. I think I think anytime you get an opportunity to go uh, into a great college venue, it's it's always a blast. Uh, and certainly Auburn is that. I mean, they, they're one of the, it's one of the best game day environments in, in all of college football. Uh, great fan base, passionate fan base. Um, you know, it's a beautiful uh, environment down there. So I uh, look forward to it. You know, I think it's I think it's fun. And then um, you know, been competing and against Stalburn for a long time uh, but have great respect for for uh, their coaches and um, you know what they've been able to accomplish over the years and uh, recognize fully how difficult it is to win there they're very very difficult uh, you know you're you're down a touchdown when you get off the board the, the bus it's a it's a tough place uh, to play and and I know that firsthand you know, how would you compare this group offensively to the, your teams in the past? Uh, well, I mean, I, th I think we got to go play some games before I can really, you know, give you a, a true assessment of that. But, you know, I think we've got a lot of experience coming back. Uh, and uh, I think that we have the potential to be very good offensively. Um, and I don't think that's a, a big shocking statement. Uh, <laughs> we've got a lot of guys that their past performance indicates uh, that they know what to do, have the ability to do it, and do it on the big stage in big moments. So that's exciting uh, from a coach's standpoint when you got that coming back. But I mean, we got to go do it. Uh, we got to go do it again. And uh, so I think that this group has a chance to be uh, as good as we've ever had uh, on paper. But you know, we'll see. We'll see how it all plays out. Help knowing Coach Steele the way you do and having worked with him so closely for a few years going into a game like this, or does that relationship not help at all? No, it doesn't. I mean, I'm not going to play, and neither is Coach Steele. So, uh, you know, what helps is your players executing um, and, and being able to, you know, do the things that give you a chance to win. But that that doesn't have anything to do with it. Yeah, but what is the carryover from the championship game last year? At, and being in it, first of all, losing it being so close that you, you see now before the first game? Uh, well, I think, um, I don't know, maybe just uh, maybe a better understanding of what it takes. Uh, maybe that's probably the biggest thing from 
the previous teams. I mean, we've got some really good teams uh, coming back. We've had a lot of consistency over the last you know seven years, and um, uh, but I think this team has a, has an experience to really rally upon and draw upon that none of the other teams have had because they they uh, they have that to draw on from last year, um, and uh, so I think they have a true understanding of what it takes and just man, you know how you got to get ready every week, uh, uh, the focus that it takes, the attention to details, the commitment, uh, you know, being able to handle uh, being the target every single week, getting everybody's best effort every single week, um, you know, all that comes with a 15-game uh, run uh, and overcoming injuries and adversity along the way. So uh, I think they have a, a, a strong appreciation and, may, again, a better understanding of maybe what it takes. I think the previous teams, um, you know, had, had some type of understanding. But until you really have experienced something, uh, it's really hard to truly know. So uh, hopefully that will be something that will be a positive for us and, um, you know, help us to weather some storms this season. What do you see from Mike Williams as far as 